be transported to an island that is not part of this world. A place where fairy pixie dust oh, just happens in the sky the every Spot. evening. These would be fun. Not only on the 4th of July. Here there are no noisy booms, just explosions of light, stars, glitter, and beauty. Feel the peace and serenity of sitting at the bow of the sailboat and seeing a shooting star while traveling to many places to meet beautiful people. A piece of art can be a visual anchor that draws us in and triggers an emotional and spiritual adventure. Island Delight is a mixed media painting that has gone through quite a few evolutions and layers to create this uplifting piece. What is it about this image that makes someone feel happy and relaxed? Is it the mix of colors in the palette? The image of sailboats on the water? Or the whimsical nature of the piece? Lately, it's sailboats that I imagine because their sails can flow in so many different ways and make incredible compositions. Here, I show what goes into a mixed media painting. Putting paint on the canvas and watching something beautiful emerge right in front of me, I'm always the first to see what the paint and canvas are telling me. I visualized sailboats in the foreground and brought them to life by first adding torn tissue paper for the sails. The black sails provide the texture under the paint I will be adding. As you see, it's not a realistic image of a sailboat, more of an expression. When I work intuitively like this, I enjoy mark making elements throughout, creating a visually rich image. The sailboats in the foreground were made using a process where I tear the tissue paper and varnish it onto the canvas. After that, I work in color using paint and pastels. You can see this technique in many of my mixed media paintings. If you look up close, you can see a layer of sparkly discs in the sky. These are to emphasize the light in the sky and the delight of being by the water. Whether it is in the pale moonlight or just before dawn, the red of the sunrise, the white light of the day, or the crimson orange of the sunset, the light is always stunning over the glittering water of the bay. The 4th of July is going to be a bit different in my Safety Harbor community this year in light of social distancing. Last year, throngs of people descended to my neighborhood overlooking the Tampa Bay. Families came by the car load and set up their lawn chairs and picnics on the sidewalk of my very own walking path. It was like they were going to be watching a rocket launch or something. I remember the sultry summer night of the 4th of July, 2019. I was simply walking that night and watching all the people and thinking, oh, that's nice, but not for me. Too many people. Children had to be on top of their parents' shoulders to see anything. But the fireworks were beautiful, and I took note of what they looked like as they reflected over the water. In my painting, I wanted to capture the excitement of that evening. I wanted to show the viewer, I wanted the viewer to see the steaminess of the hot Florida night, to see the sparkles in the sky, I wanted the lovely, soft, and delicate color palette of warm and cool colors and the gentle swaying motion to feel like laying in a hammock. When we do our own part in showing up authentically and mindfully in being kind to ourselves, not to push ourselves too far, and yet not to hide behind our own limits. We invite others to do the same. And just like Sark said, remember to delight yourself first, then others can be truly delighted. Take delight in whatever you do.